Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Try Donkey Kong 64, and as you see, I got 91 gold bananas because last time off screen I got blueprints and blueprints only because I don't want you guys to miss out on anything. Anyways, in this part, we're going to be starting off the catacombs of Creepy Castle, which are below Creepy Castle, and like, basically there's two sections to this area of the catacombs. Uh, there is this place, which leads down to underground chambers where you get things achieved with Diddy. Chunky and Donkey Kong, and across from it, there's like this stairwell shaft place that goes to Tiny and Lanky's locations. And the only thing we're going to be doing down in these places down here is we're going to be doing the thing with Diddy and Chunky. None, none with DK, but there is one with DK, but we're just not going to be doing it. But yeah. Okay, so, anyways, uh, with that said, um, we're going to start this off. Diddy's is the, at the lowest places, and there are warp pads here, which saves you the trouble of walking the whole way. So, yeah. Um, get out the peanut popping guns, uh, shoot this switch. And so, basically, in this room, there's only one, two, three, four switches, and you just have to hit them in order. And that's basically it, so it's pretty simple. And, yeah, so basically, here's the plan I have for Creepy Castle. I'm going to be finishing the catacombs first. And I'm going to be moving up to the upper levels of the castle. And this whole thing will take me quite a few parts. And then the Let's Try is probably going to finally be over. Because I, uh, I've been doing this one for a while. And quite honestly, uh, it's not really getting boring, to be honest. It's actually really fun, but still. Uh, yeah, because I actually have... I'm, we're not going to be going to the boss of this level because I actually haven't beaten the boss. This is as far as I've ever gotten in the game. Uh, except in my original file, I have like a hundred some gold bananas. So, yeah. A lot of the, the gold bananas in this were kind of left out. This Let's Try was like... that. It's not... I didn't really complete everything in it. I did leave quite a few things out. But that's okay. Because it's a let's try, not really a let's play. Where I'm doing a whole lot of stuff in it, so yeah. And, anyways. Um. Yeah, that's all I have to say for news and updates and everything and how we're gonna be doing things. Uh, so yeah, got my new headset. Uh, sounds really good. I actually, this is the f like second time I've tried recording this commentary because the first time, the only problem I've had with this headset is the audio levels were out and it was quiet, the recording. So I just played around with those and it sounds good right now. So yeah, it seems like everything's cleared up with that. So this is going to be very useful to have for my videos. And yeah. And in other news, I was playing more of Conqueror's Bad Fur today the other day, and as you guys have heard, I think I posted it on a bulletin, or it could have even been in a video, I'm not really sure, but I said that the prehistoric level in Conqueror's Bad Fur Day is not as cool as the one in Banjo-Tooie, the pterodactyl land from Banjo-Tooie, and that's, I totally think that way, because, I don't know, just in Banjo-Tooie, it just seemed a bit cooler, and Creepy Castle is definitely better than the spooky chapter in Conquer's Bad Fur Day, because quite honestly, in Conquer's Bad Fur Day, uh, well, yeah, I'm on the spooky chapter right now, but, uh, Creepy Castle is cooler than it, I think, like, because it seems like that chapter of Conquer's Bad Fur Day didn't really have a lot of it didn't have enough stuff in it. It was kind of a short chapter. I haven't beat it yet, though. I'm probably going to tomorrow. So, yeah. Uh, now, this is the mini game, and as you see, it's a bad luck because I actually did fail at this quite a few times, to be honest, and I just kept the take where I did it right. Uh, it's not too hard. It's just that since Creepy Castle is one of the most advanced levels in the game. The mini games are gonna give you less time and you have to hit more guys in the mini games and whatnot. You know, that's fine, but eh, I don't know. It's like it's not hard, but it's a little bit trickier than any of the other levels. Now there is a huge uh mini game on this level that I'm sure most people that have played Donkey Kong 64 know about in this level, Beaver Bother, which is, uh, I think it's called that, yeah, it's a mini game, goddamn, that's 
it so hard. I so many people have problems with that. I've personally never done it. And anyways, that cut out where I got the gold banana. But anyways, I did get 92. So yeah, that's basically it for this part, guys. So I'll see you all for the next part. And yeah, that's basically it. So I'll see you guys for part 50.